Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Addiction, where you can find the latest album reviews. You can find our band interviews, and you can find live coverage of the concerts that we get. Um, I posted an interview with Awaken I Am yesterday. Go check that out. Also posted two album reviews, Grey Haven and Duelist. Go check those out. And then for the upcoming week, in terms of interviews, I'll be posting an interview with Ascent Like Wolves, as well as Day Shell. So definitely go check those out. Um, when you get the chance to and if you enjoyed any of this, please subscribe, please hit that thumbs up It really does go a long way. Also hit that notification bell So you get notified of when anything audio addiction related comes out um, It'd be really cool of you if you did that. So tonight we're gonna be talking about Bill Murray's new record Solid Chubb So as many of you know, you know, I had your boy had to do this album. Um, I've been a big fan of Bill Murray. For those of you who don't know about this band, um, it's basically the project of Johnny Frank of X Attack Attack. Um, he's been putting out a ton of these records. Like I think he put out like two last year and he put like out two the year before that. And he's just like constantly putting out new EPs. Um, I'd love to hear, or like albums, I guess they're kind of like, um, they're in that gray area between an album and EP, so whatever, um, but they are really good, I have always loved his voice, I think I love his voice even more that it's not auto-tuned and that you can just like hear him, so um, I'm gonna go through each track, give you my thoughts and opinions on this record, uh, go through some pros and cons, and then finish it out with an overall rating. So the first track off the record is Gradient. He released a music video that, go check it out on his channel. Um, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel, so definitely go check that out as well. Um, but it's easily one of the catchiest tracks off the record. As soon as I heard this track, I was just already hooked. Shout outs to all of the... Um, video like things that he put on the green screen where he was wearing you know like pokemon dbz uh simpsons uh and just a ton of other ones is really cool and that just kind of brought nostalgia back for me so uh definitely enjoyed that part but that's a side note um getting back to the song i love the combination of electronics and instrumentals i think he really incorporated that very well in the last record banana and i think he just does a phenomenal job in this track um, in particular, it's got a really great groove, and I think his vocals just fit this song super well. Um, just the way he kind of does his screams, he does his cleans. Just I feel like everything just works out the best in this track. Um, and I'm just going to go through all the other ones and let you know what I think about it. But I definitely feel like this is the go-to one to listen to. Um, I think it's a great opener track, and it definitely starts off the record right. So we're going to move into track number two, which is Wash. This one kind of remind me a lot of Scar um, off of one of his previous records, Letters. Um, it just has that similar sort of vibe, almost like indie rock, uh, something kind of in the same vein as like From Indian Lakes, stuff like that. Um, the song has this really cool space to it, and I like that it highlights more of Johnny's vocals in a, a more natural arrangement. And what I mean by that, I mean like just with Al Electronics, this one kind of is more or less just instrumentals like guitars you know drums bass things that you would typically hear and there's nothing really he, he can quote unquote hide behind it's more or less just like just him singing i love that um solid track but i feel like nothing really kind of sticks out it's kind of a very straightforward track which i appreciate considering that gradient was kind of like a sensory overload not in a bad way i love the way he does those tracks but um it's just a nice contrast between those two and i think the ending is super cool in this track just the way he does some of the the um the effects that he does uh, at the end just work out really well so we're gonna move into track number three which is reflect this one is another great track um it has the vibes to it for sure i love the electronics in this track and just how just how odd the vocals were they're kind of almost like auto-tuned it's really hard to explain and i think he kind of like lowered the octave so it kind of sounds really interesting um i just always love how he kind of thinks of these things and i'd love to kind of maybe eventually interview him uh that would be super sick to kind of get in in his head and kind of figure out how he does these sorts of things and kind of makes it 
makes certain things come out in a song the way they do i would definitely like to kind of pick his brain on that part but there's this awesome really great heavy part at the minutes and 45 second mark that just kind of hits with a punch it's definitely one of the more heavier tracks um off the record but definitely a favorite of mine and you know i couldn't go without saying that so we're gonna move into track number four which is waves uh it's very much an interlude it's about a minute and a half long um it kind of has some in uh, distant vocals and kind of like ambient sort of ethereal you know um electronic uh i'm trying to think of the word like electronic music kind of that sort of style um really not much going on i think it's a cool kind of you know pace breaker and i i like that about this track so we're moving to track number five which is ice um the change in this track is very interesting, and it's not bad. I think it's definitely cool, and I, I like aspects of it, and I think it does combine a lot of aspects of what I like about Bill Murray. Um, I think I'm just kind of on the fence on it in terms of um, whether I like it or not. I think it just is one of the more unique arrangements off the record, um, which isn't bad. I think he does a really interesting job about arranging things and kind of figuring out how they go. I think I'll definitely give you guys an update on terms of whether or not I like it or not. I think it's really good. I think it's like just just barely out of my favorites. Um but nonetheless a really great track, catchy. Um but you know, I'm going to put it in that lower tier of the favorites. I don't, I'm really sectioning them off <laughs> in a terrible way, but um I think it's really good. I definitely feel like it's one of the best tracks off the record. I think it's in the top kind of tier on this record in, in general. I feel like it's one of the ones that executed the best and kind of arranged very well. So we're going to move into track number six, which is Island. Uh, I like the Ode to Super Deluxe, a.k.a. Cheap Thrills. Um, I thought that was really interesting. I can't pick out all of the things uh, that he kind of... Uh, relays in the entire album I'm sure somebody's already done it already at this point but um really enjoyed that kind of call back to that but this one definitely has more of a pop aesthetic to it which you know I didn't think he would go into I, I know he does have that electronic sort of flair to his music um, but I didn't think he would delve quite into kind of I guess pop in a sense it's almost like dark pop in a, in, in a in an interesting way it has very similar qualities to the new paris record i would say which isn't bad i did enjoy the new paris record um a i thought it was really good I, I know that some people are kind of on the fence about it but i enjoyed it um and also gives me that sort of um 1975-esque feel to it especially in that like guitar solo part definitely reminded me a lot of uh 1975 and i know that that's a big influence on him as well um and this one just feels more like electronic focused it's not a let more or less you know instrument focused i know he does a lot of that stuff kind of like both electronically and both instrumentally like physically um but i definitely feel like this is a another one of the better tracks off the record um and it was just kind of like a almost like the black sheep of the record it just kind of took me by surprise but i, I really enjoyed it nonetheless so we're gonna move into track number seven which is heaven and man does this one bring the energy i i like that this one kind of harkens back to kind of the older stuff that he was doing the more kind of just really guitar focused stuff and then it has great uh, electronics to kind of pair with it uh it's way more upbeat and it combines a lot of elements that i love about bill murray you know again like the really kind of riffy guitar parts um and just like a lot of energy i felt like you know what made him write great tracks in my opinion is like the tracks that are like two minutes long but just have a bunch of energy and are just really upbeat and really punchy and something that you really enjoy like gradient like off this record um i would consider that probably the top two tracks off the record in my opinion would probably be gradient and heaven maybe shortly followed back by like island was really good and maybe reflect kind of like those four tracks i definitely feel like are the best ice is very close to um, but I would definitely say that those four are probably my favorites off the entire record. So we're going to move into the last track, track number eight, which is Alone. Um, really like the emotional approach to this track. I feel like, you know, in a lot of the the songs that he does, I wouldn't even say it's satire in a sense, but it just, this one felt real. Like, and I'm not trying to diss any of his other tracks, but this one just, you could tell, like, just 
by listening to it, you're like, man, I, I just feel these things. And, you know, I feel the same way sometimes, too. So um, I can definitely relate to this track very much so. And um, I, I really enjoyed it. I like the kind of change of pace that it brought to this record. However, I feel like the placement of the song could have been changed. I would have maybe loved to have it switched between like maybe like just take waves out completely and put alone in the split in that place or, you know, maybe swap them. I think that might be cool or put like waves in front of like island, I think would be really interesting and then put alone maybe in the wave spot. I'm really kind of nitpicking here, but I feel like that would have worked out a lot better. I think it's a solid way to end off the record, but I definitely feel like the arrangement of tracks could have been sectioned off a little bit better and just kind of led into it a little bit more and then just kind of have heaven fall into gradient i think that that would have been a little bit better i I might be in the i might be in the small percentage of thinking that that would be cool but who knows so um some pros and cons on this record i like that he changed some stuff up um i like that he brought more of the electronic aesthetic to what he does and kind of branched out and certain done different things i can speak english um gradient has those sort of heavier moments on same with heaven um and then reflect is kind of out there in terms of like the more pop like more electronic focused stuff same with island um ice is kind of like in the middle uh between all of those and then wash kind of is like the i wouldn't say the odd man out because i think it really resonates with the more older stuff that he does um but Overall, I think that he kind of covered the gambit on this record um, more or less than anything, and um, I, I thought it was really solid. I wouldn't say it's his best work to date, but it definitely has a lot of tracks that I will go back and listen to for sure. So um, my overall rating for Bill Murray's Solid Chub, I'm going to be giving it a 9.3 out of 10. I think it's one that you should go check out you go listen to um i still think banana is my ultimate favorite i i don't think that's gonna be i think that's gonna be really hard to beat in my opinion just because i i love each song off that record um and i still jam it on the dale um but overall really solid record i love that he keeps putting out stuff he'll probably have an ep out maybe in the fall time most likely um, but I just like how frequently he's putting stuff out. And even if it's not, you know, his best work, I, I just love that he continually puts out stuff and that he's continually, like, gaining new fans because this stuff is really incredible and he definitely deserves to be noticed for sure. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Solid Chubb. I'd love to know. Um, I think it's definitely up there in terms of my favorites, but I, I think that Banana is still king number one. You know, um, Jeff, I don't know. It's just going to be really hard to beat unless like unless you can just make a masterpiece, Johnny, which I'm definitely not saying you can't you could probably do it. But um, overall, really enjoyed this record, really unique stuff. And I'm excited for you guys to check it out. It actually comes out, came out yesterday. So definitely go pick it up if you get the chance to. I really want to pick that windbreaker up. I think it's so dope. Uh, and I, I will definitely actually I'll probably go pick it up because I want to pick up Solid Chub. Also, Johnny, if you happen to be watching this, I'd love to get the the um first the dank sessions or I don't know exactly the name of it, but I would love to get that record. I know that it was a limited run thing. Your boy was strapped for cash. I'd love to get a copy of that at some point in time. Because it was just so good, and I would just kind of love to have it in my CD collection, which I'm staring at right now. Uh, I think it would just be a great kind of thing to have. So if anyone, or if anybody's selling it, you know, help your boy out. I'd love to, I'd love to do that. But um, thanks, guys, for watching this review. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, plenty of awesome stuff coming with the audio addiction. Check the links in the description to find out about Bill Murray and all the stuff that he does. Uh, really talented producer and songwriter, of course. So go check his stuff out. Link at the end of this video. And like I said, my name is Brandon. We hope you got your fix and we'll be talking with you soon. Peace. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos. So definitely go check that out. 
um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces.